Hello beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a really long time since I posted. I actually just went back and went through all the videos and deleted quite a few of the poor quality videos that I had. So right now I only have a few on there. Go back and check those out if you haven't seen them. They were from two years ago when I was living in Reading and that's kind of where I'm going to pick back up to catch you guys up on where my life is at now and a lot has been going on in the last two years of course if you've been keeping up with me on my instagram you know a little bit about that and i appreciate you all we're in quarantine right now and what better time to jump back on to a project that i kind of let flop in the craziness of life so today i'm going to film a get ready with me i'm getting ready to film a bikini try on haul for tt tonka i have 18 swimming suits that i'm going to be showing you guys so super excited about that but that's what we're gonna get ready for today and i figure i might as well turn it into kind of a life update reconnecting video as well so i've got my makeup laid out here we're just gonna get started and get chatting i'm italian so have to start with a matte primer, so a little Sephora Smooth Matte Primer. I wanna start talking about when I moved back in 2018. So I was living in Redding, California two years ago and I moved there for Bethel Church and at post-college, just wanted kind of a change of scenery. But a couple things happened and I ended up moving back home. Summer of 2018, there was a fire in Reading. The car fire went through Reading. And so I had a vacation plan to come back and see my family anyway. So that happened a few days before I was supposed to take that vacation. So that got pushed ahead and I came back to Montana. Browser next, I use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in three. I don't have any brow gel right now, but so give you a little bit of backstory my stepdad he's had prostate cancer for seven years now I want to say he did have his prostate removed and he was doing some chemotherapy and all this kind of stuff so I don't know if any of you guys have been through that either but it's a long process lots of ups and downs um, and so he had been doing pretty well for a while while I was there he actually we actually thought that he had a stroke because he was losing control and feeling in his arm and his leg. We had to rush him to the hospital and he ended up getting life lighted to the Billings Hospital and he had a brain tumor that had started to bleed. So they took him in and he had brain surgery the next day and removed the brain tumor and then they tested it to see if it was cancerous and turned out that it was. So the prostate cancer had spread to his brain. They didn't really say like what was gonna happen after that because they said they've only seen two people that that has happened and one didn't make it, uh, you know, died in the helicopter ride and the other person is working in the hospital seven years later. So with cancer, you just like never know. Anyways, he was on the mend. Um, I went back to California because I was going to Burning Man that year. That's the only year that I've been to Burning Man. That was absolutely incredible in itself. And then after Burning Man, I decided that I was going to move home to be with my family and kind of help out in a time of need. Let's see, what's next? I'm gonna do some concealer and just like touch up my brows a little bit. I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Looks like that. I don't even know if you guys can see this, but hopefully you can. So after I moved back from California, I got a job at the Yellowstone Club, which is a private ski and golf club in Big Sky. It's not super well known, but a lot of like celebrities and a lot of very wealthy people go up there for vacations, like with their families. I was working as the culinary admin. I really did like it, but there was definitely some things that made it a little bit difficult. Like I wasn't get, getting paid that well to be like stoked about driving three hours a day even though they had a shuttle like but it was absolutely gorgeous once you got up there and i feel like i was totally spoiled working for chefs like i'm such a foodie it was a really good experience but i just knew that i wanted more but i did that for two full seasons so the full winter season which is ski season and then golf season for the summer of 2019 so of last year now i'm gonna do 
some eyeshadow. So I got these little pigments. They're called Maya. It's like M-A-H-Y-A. And I got these from one of the shows that I work. This one's called Fairy Tale. And then I'm actually going to do some sparkles also on top. I worked at the Yellowstone Club. Kind of loved it. But I just knew that that wasn't quite like exactly what I wanted. And during the off season last year, so while I wasn't working, I went to Lightning in a Bottle with some friends that I had met in Miami. And that was just like an awesome experience. We ended up partying for just like a month straight. But they had a company and invited me to work with them doing traveling sales. Like they travel all over the US. And so I decided that that sounded like more of what I wanted to do. Okay, next I'm going to take, this is just like a little Sephora palette. Um, I'm going to take this one. It's called Sweetie. And do my crease. I just like really like the idea of working commission. Like not working a normal job. The 9 to 5 I just did not feel was for me. Plus I was going to be working with my friends. And traveling at the same time. And if you know me, I absolutely love to travel. At this point, so my stepdad had recovered from the brain tumor. And he actually was back to work after not too long. And he does construction. Like he was a foreman. He knows all different types of construction. And eventually, one day he was working. And um, this was like towards the end of the summer, I think. And actually fell at work. And because the prostate cancer had spread to his bone before... When he fell, his hip broke in four different places and it wasn't healing and they tried to do like some more radiation and stuff, but that left him pretty much immobile. Obviously, he could not go back to work again. They told him to stay off of it. But that's, I think, when things started like taking a turn for the worse. My stepdad's health has been like slowly declining and now he's actually in hospice care in our house and my mom is his full-time caregiver my little brother and i um, have been staying with the family and then my older brother is just a few hours away and now i'm just gonna take this is literally like a little maybelline palette i really need new makeup and i'm just going to do a little bit darker into the crease and make it nice and dark now I'm going to cut the crease with some of that concealer again. Then in November is when I started working with my friend's company. And first we went to Salt Lake City and we were there for two months. And then in January we went to Denver to the stock show. So National Western Stock Show in Denver for a couple of weeks. And that was super sick actually. I've never been and I actually used to live in Colorado and I'm kind of a cowgirl at heart so that was really cool to see and that my babes is how you do a cut crease and then I always like to clean up this edge a little bit like that boom then um, after the sock show we went to Huntington Beach and did a marathon there and then came back to Montana for a little bit. And then I went to Costa Rica for Grand Vision Festival. And that was just wow. Whole experience was absolutely incredible. And I'll tell you a story all about how we actually wrecked our rental car and almost died in Costa Rica. That was pretty crazy. And a couple like scandalous other story times I'll be telling just on my OnlyFans. Which I will talk to you about too. We got back March 1st and then we were scheduled to go to LA for my birthday weekend, which is March 14th and we were going to be working a show that weekend. But of course, you know, that was the weekend that everything got shut down and so that show actually ended up getting canceled. Of course, there goes my work. Now that I've got the shadow done and the brows, we're going to do foundation. Actually, I'm going to do the sparkles first. Doing a bold look, okay, I love sparkles. Mm, 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 mm. I turned 25 this year on March 14th. If you know me, my birthday is a huge deal to me, so I'm always doing a fun trip for my birthday ever since I was 19. Like, I went to Salt Lake City, Cancun for my 21st birthday, LA for my 22nd, Hawaii for my 23rd, 
and Portland slash Miami for my 24th and then this year I was planning to do LA and actually work show because I'm a responsible adult but that got cancelled so I just sat in the hot tub and drank a glass of wine and it was fantastic. Okay, so next for foundation I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro. Okay blending, blending so much. So also for my 25th birthday as a present to myself, I bought myself my dream car because I was driving a Subaru Crosstrek before which I had leased three years prior. So my lease was up, um, convenient timing right before my birthday. Hello again. So I recorded the rest of that entire video and realized after I was finished recording that it stopped. So. I left off by saying that I just got my Jeep Wrangler, which is my dream car, but I do have a lot of work to put into it to do the wrap that I want to do, give it a lift, you know, a couple other things that I'll keep a little bit of secret until they actually get done because I've always wanted one. It's just a little bit of a money pit, but I'm really excited about that. I actually did want to talk about my OnlyFans, so of course since quarantine, I wasn't going to be doing traveling sales and I have a friend that is very successful on OnlyFans. She makes a lot of money doing it. She's been doing it for a couple months longer than I have and so she kind of like felt out the kinks, no pun intended. She showed me how to set my OnlyFans up when I was in Huntington Beach. So I've been modeling since 2016 so I have a lot of photo shoots and like personal content that I've never posted on Instagram that's like too scandalous for Instagram or you know it's just a platform that I can have people that actually support me in what I'm doing and like want to see more of me, want to connect with me. There's like a direct messaging option and a way to ask for customized content that like is something that someone's always wanted to see me do. So I started the OnlyFans beginning of March. It's been such a blessing. Like I have made more than I was expecting to make and the amount of people that like I've been able to connect with and also like the group of girls that I've been working with. So if you are a girl or a guy, of course, that's interested in making OnlyFans, but you kind of like want me to answer questions or you want me to walk you through it, send me an email or send me a DM and I can help you with that because as of right now, I'm the top 3% of content creators on OnlyFans and it's just something that I'm like stoked about and stoked to have a new platform. It is 18 and over, by the way. Besides OnlyFans, uh, during the quarantine, I've also been working on my poetry books. I put it off for a while and I'm just now starting to go back into it. I kind of have all the pages sorted out how I want them to be, but like making sure it has the right intention before I send it off to illustrators. Also, one thing that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned in the video was Quarantine was actually a really difficult time for me like at the end of March because I'm constantly traveling. I'm constantly like on the go. I live a busy lifestyle. Like I'm constantly surrounded by friends and that is kind of a little bit of a coping mechanism because then if I'm not standing still, I don't have to deal with some of the negative emotions that I feel or like the negative circumstances. I just wanted to make it clear that like I get you if you're in a situation that when you're quarantined in, it's uncomfortable and you realize how uncomfortable it is because you don't have the things that you usually escape in. At least that's the way that I look at it. Like I was forced to face things that I normally wouldn't give as much time of day to think about. On a lighter note, uh, I want to wrap it up. Like this has been a huge time to be able to create what we want our lives to look like and what we spend time doing and really creating and scripting out that life and having the time to do it and I think we've all gotten this wake up call that this is our time and what are we going to do with our time. I think I talked about everything that I talked about the first time. Of course having to re-record the video is such a pain in the butt but I'm happy to connect with you guys. I've been wanting to get this video out there so now I'm going to record um, the second part of the swim haul so keep a lookout for the bikini try on haul and I hope you're all doing okay. Keep your heads up. I know that there's lots of ups and downs like during a time like this 
but of course making the most out of it looks like it should be over soon i want to continue to be connecting with you guys so check out my instagram and my only fans is the things that i'm most active on i uh, don't have a twitter don't really snapchat yeah thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time cheers